Hi, and welcome to Microsoft Power Tools channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation, and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically add a member to a Microsoft Teams team using Power Automate. This is going to help you to have a more exclusive training or event within your organization. What do I mean by that? You have a situation whereby only people that register for a particular event are able to participate fully in that event or training. People who do not register might end up you know, being able to connect to the meeting but will not be able to participate fully. Take for example, in terms of you know, events where you often have gift vouchers for people who respond to polls, for people who share their thoughts using the, using the chat feature. Those who do not register, even though they might get link to join the teams or the meeting, the event, they will end up not having access to respond or to interact using the chat features and they might miss out a lot of other things within that teams or the event. All right, so how do we then start? I'm going to start from scratch and walk us through how to accomplish this. This will help you to create experience around an event in your organization, makes it more exciting and not just to say send meetings or link meeting invite to everyone or as many as are interested. Let them go through an experience. All right, let us start our experience. This is my Microsoft Teams. I only have two teams and I'm going to add another one from scratch now, which is for Power Night. So the event we're having is Power Night, Microsoft Power Night, and I want only those who registered to be able to join and participate. So I'm going to create a new team. I'm going to create this one from scratch, build from scratch. I want to make it private, otherwise they can easily have access to it and, you know, and I don't want that to happen. So MS Power Night. I'm done creating, I just have to skip right now. So our team is here and there's no member yet. We only have myself that I create this team. What is the next thing? Let us go and create a Microsoft form. And here I am to Microsoft form. I'm just going to start a new form. I'm going to type to my form, Power Night. And I have a single question to ask, which is to ask them to consent. Just want them to consent. Please check the button below and submit. Say kindly have me registered for the event. Okay, I want to make it compulsory. We are done. Let's assume we are done. So this is a power night registration. Just, we just need you to consent and then you get registered for the event. How do we then make this experience, you know, complete? Now that we have a Teams channel, you know, that we want people to get added to. Now that we've created our power, our form, which is power night. How do we then connect this experience together? We need power automate. Right now I'm going to navigate to power automate and I'm going to start an automated cloud flow. The trigger here is when a new response is submitted and I'm going to name it Power Night. Then I'll create. The next step here is to add which form should get this flow triggered. Which form should someone submit a response that will trigger this flow? Remember, it is Power Night. That's a Power Night. Then I'm going to, the next step is to retrieve the information, you know, filled in that form. By the way, it is just the consent as well as some metadata collected for us by Power, by Microsoft Forms, which includes the email of the person, the time, it, you know, the person submit, okay, completion time. So let us use get response details. That is the action card that will give us that. Get response details. Then it's asking which form again is still Power Night because there are possibilities of you, you know, having a form triggered by one action and then you are collecting information from under four. The next step here is to add the person. So just look for teams. I'm going to show us a team as trigger, Microsoft Teams. You will see all the actions that we have there. What I want to do is I want to add a member to a team. That's what we want to use. Add a member to a team. It's asking us where's the team. Remember, we just created MS Power 9. That's what we see. 
These are the three teams that I have here. Look at the three teams, Capacity Nigeria, SharePoint Test Site, and MS Power Night. So I'm going to create, I'm going to click on MS Power Night, and it's asking where is the ID, you know, the, just use the email address. That's the responder's email. I'm going to add responder's email. The next step here is to send message to that person. Send an email. I want to send an email using Office 365 Outlook. And who am I sending it to? I will use dynamic content to retrieve the email, responder's email. The subject, thank you for, you know, thank you for all registration completed. Registration completed. Then I want to call the person by name. I want to call the person by name. I don't have the name. All I have is the email. What do I have to do here is just to add another action card called get user profile. This get user profile is going to help us to retrieve so many other metadata or information about that person that's already in Office 365. So I'm going to supply it with responder's email. And when I come back here on the dynamic content, you're going to see that we have much more information about that person now. So I'm going to say I and uh, the the surname is known as surname here. That surname. The first name is known as given name while the combination of both is known as display name okay so all, this is all i need i need the display name i'm going to call the person by name um thank you for registering for power night kindly note that you've been added to our to our community on Microsoft Teams where you will have access to more resources about the event. Don't forget we are trying to create an experience regards. Okay, before regards, say let's hold more power. Regards. Then don't forget to always set your importance to at least normal or high. Otherwise, it's going to automatically send you with low importance. Now that I have this, I'm going to save. So we have what we need. And then I'm going to copy the share the link, the mail, I'm uh, sorry, the form. And I will copy the link to share. This time around, I only want people within my organizations to be able to respond. So I'm going to click on copy. And I have logged into two different accounts. This is Advance, my retail manager, and also I have Alex Weaver here. Alex Weaver is also here. Advance is going to register. Why Weaver? We have to, you know, we don't register, but both of them want to see if they join the team. Will they still be able to? Uh, will they be able to have access to the meeting? So, all right. I'm going to copy. Uh, I mean, I'm going to paste it here. Then this is Advance. She's going to click and say submit. If I go to add advanced email, you know, I'm waiting, I should get the email and she should be added to that team's channel. And I'm also at the same time, awesome. You can see the mail registration completed. What we have composed there, she has received it now. If I go to our teams, I'm gonna see awesome. Microsoft Power Night, she has been added. If you see activity, you know, added you to Microsoft Power Night. Come back to teams. Meanwhile, for Alex Weber, you know, go to open teams for Alex Weber. Nope. I'm just going to open teams for Alex Weber. All right. For Alex Weber, you only have access to the capacity engine, which is the organization uh, group on Microsoft Teams. Okay. So what then do I want to do? Uh, now that we see, let's go back. You can see I've added advanced to the team. Okay, the next thing for us to do is just to create a meeting and I can do that by scheduling a meeting here. And that way I can just add MS Power Night and put the time to be this Friday and 11 p.m. is cool. I'm going to send. 
Awesome. So what we have here now for every member of this team, they already have this meeting you know, that's coming up by 11 p.m. on Friday. And I'm going to just start this meeting right now. I'm going to join. Okay, everything is on silence now. I've joined. I'm going to make Advance to also join. Here's Advance. So she's also going to, you know, see the notification. There's a meeting ongoing. She's going to join. I'm going to allow this. You know, of and she joins. All right. So Advance, you know, can see this. Hi guys. You now she's also messaging. All right. So let me come back here and come to my teams or to my meeting and come to this meeting note or submitting details. Copy the links to join and have Weber Alex Weber to join. There's a link to join and click here to join you're just going to click to join okay we're going to cancel download open your teams app uh continue on this browser i'm going to continue on the browser oh alex weber successfully joined so why 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 do we then have people to you know register and give them as exclusive you know experience but the only issue here is Alex Riba cannot chat, cannot see what is happening in the chat area because, you know, it's not available, it's not a member of that chat. So this way, it encourages people to register whenever an event is coming up because it's always an experience and there's, also always, there's always something that they get to miss if they do not register. And I hope this helps. Don't forget, if you truly learn something in this video, subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the notification bell and like this video so that you know you can get more recommended to people who can then you know bring in more exclusive events to the organization and create an experience for event trainings and any, any other thing within the organization thank you and you know i can then come back here you know just end the meeting for everyone but we can see that while others have access to the chat area alex Weber does not and that way is definitely going to miss out of this training hi guys you know everyone is just saying hi guys and i can then end the meeting for all all right thank you and see you in the next video